Performing data lookups in Excel is pretty common stuff. And to allow us to do that, we are provided with two main lookup formulas. One called VLOOKUP, that's V for vertical, and one called HLOOKUP, H for horizontal. Looking at the VLOOKUP formula, this is the syntax that we are dealing with. Equals VLOOKUP, so that's the name of the function, open brackets, lookup. Lookup is the value that we wish to look up somewhere, such as looking up a word in a dictionary. So our lookup here will be B75, if I want to find out more information about B75, who he is, what his name is, how old he is. The second part of your VLOOKUP is the table that you're going to look your information up in. So this is my table over here. Notice the color coding. I'm as good as Excel, really. So my table is colored in green. My lookup value is in orange. The lookup value must always exist in the first column of your lookup table. So B75 will be looked up in this column. It won't look in any other column. It'll always look in column one. Back to our formula, comma. Column refers to which column of the table, and the columns are numbered one, two, three, four, completely regardless of the letters. So here we have K, L, M, and N, but it's not. It's column one, column two, column three, and column four of our lookup table. So this column refers to which column of information you wish to return back with to your formula. Column one is the ID, and we already have that. So you're unlikely to return column one, but you may return column two if you want the gender, three for the age and four for the name. Then the last part of our formula is a true or a false. Most of the time, this will be a false element because you're looking for an exact match. True will allow Excel to look for a near match, usually used with numbers within a range rather than text values. So if we take our little example below here, we take our B75 and we look it up in this table here. So we look down the first column until we find B75. We then look across to the column the formula tells us to find. If I'm looking for the name, that will be column four, and it finds Sally and returns Sally to here where the formula would be. And then the age, I would put a formula in here to look up B75, so it runs across the table, comes down to B75, and this time it's told to bring back column three. One, two, three. So it brings back 32. The logic is straightforward, just a matter of making it work for you. Let's look at a real example. So here we have the sales date, and in the column next to it, I would like the month. Now we know we can use the month function, equals month, to get the actual number of the month. So in this case, two. But what I would like, as a human being, is the text value. So I'd like to see February. Now in order to do that, I need firstly to create a little lookup table, which I have over here, all the months of the year with their month number in front. And instead of just saying equals month A2, I use a VLOOKUP. So we start with equals V look up open brackets. So the lookup value, the value I want to take to my lookup table is actually the month of the sale date. Close the month function comma. Table array is the reference for the table. Now that can be a named range and we will use named ranges for our lookups because they're a lot easier to use. For this example, we're simply going to highlight the cells. So that's my table. Comma. Col index num is the number of the column that I wish to return back with. This is column one, which is the ID, and then column two, which is the actual month. So that's column two, comma, and then there's your true and false option. Well, it has to be an exact match, so that's false. Close brackets, return, and it says the first sale is in February. Now, because we haven't used the name range, what I need to do before I replicate that formula is make the range table absolute. So I add my dollars around that using the F4 key, and then I can replicate. And now it will do the lookup in each of the cells. That one there looks up the month of A7. So that's one, goes to the table, finds one, moves into column two, which is January, and returns January to this cell here, like so. So that's an introduction to VLOOKUP, the syntax we need, and an example of a real scenario.